try to have realistic goals. Try not to look like your favorite movie star that was ripped for their special role where they said they just ate chicken and broccoli and rice and drained four hours a day, natural. Because they probably didn't do that. Coach Greg, and today I'm going to be talking about trend. I'm gonna explain why I won't be using this ever again. I'm gonna explain all the problems that are associated with it. I'm gonna explain why so people feel the need to use it, why it's so often abused. Basically everything you needed to know about this thing, all right? So before I get into all this, I am no freaking doctor. I don't know anything for real about any of this stuff, okay? So don't listen to anything I say other than make sure you don't break any laws, don't do anything stupid, and don't be immoral. That's it, just don't, okay? So this video is not to promote its use, it's mostly to dispromote, unpromote, or do the opposite of promote. I don't have the biggest vocabulary. Have I ever used it before? Yes, I've used it at least 10 times. Does it work? Yes, of course it works. Works a lot, works in incredibly well. So why wouldn't I just use it if it's so amazing? Because it's not safe. It's not the smartest thing to do. There's safer ways to use it, as in it's safer to drink half a pint of vodka and drive, then drink a whole pint of vodka and drive, doesn't mean it's safe to drink and drive. Does that make sense? It's safer to smoke half a pack of cigarettes a day than a full pack. Yeah, okay. So why do I not think that you should use it? Or well, why won't I use it? I mean, you can do whatever the heck you want. I'm not your boss, I'm not your doctor. And by the way, Trent is not for humans. It's not made for humans, it's made for like, animals like cattle okay so hrt clinics should not be prescribing it even though one of my clients has gone to one which they are it's ridiculous they're in so many different countries the laws are so different and people will get away with anything if they can try to make money so having coached so many different people and hearing stories from so many people around the world it's amazing what i've seen I'm going to get into what some of the main side effects are and what some of the people that have spoken to me in a phone have experienced, but I'm also going to explain my own experiences. What are some of the main reasons or the, what's the main single reason I'm not using trend? Okay. The main reason is for health, for my healthiness to live longer, to be able to survive past 50. I'm only 44 in real life. Sometimes I say I'm 98, I'm not actually 98. Believe what you want. So I'm 44 and it would be amazing if I could live to be 94, 84. You know, my, a lot of my grandparents lived to 94 plus. So who knows? But using trends certainly is not gonna increase your life expectancy. If you wanna live a long and healthy life, it's certainly not the best thing to take. Okay, why would people take it? It's so strong and people are so addicted to looking their best that people will basically risk anything to have their dream body or to even to look just a little bit better. We are obsessed as society with looking a certain way. There's a lot of S's there, okay? So don't be surprised that people take anabolics and PDs and all this stuff to look the way they wanna look. You're gonna judge us or judge other people for taking certain things when the whole world wants the best diet, the crash diet, the magic pill, we dress the best, best clothes, shoes, we do our hair, makeup, breast implants, Botox, lip filler, implants, we do everything to look a certain way. We suntan to get our skin darker. We wear creams and everything. It's all about looks. Society is looks based. Trend is in that lump of things that make us look better and we're willing to do anything to look better. It doesn't matter, it's your ego, whatever. So to just judge people for that, it's kind of wrong. Of course we're gonna do it, but you should know what, where it stems from and that's that desire to look, that freakish body to get a notice, the attention, a girlfriend, a boyfriend, whatever. All right, so why is it bad for our health? Why can't I just take it and not be healthy? Well, 
One big thing it does is it screws up your cholesterol. So cholesterol gets out of whack. So your HDL is down, LDL is up. HDL, LDL ratio is off. And that can lead to cardiovascular disease. You could get a heart attack, a stroke, atherosclerosis, arteriosclerosis, heart health problems, the vascular system. Say you don't want to die of that. Very common death for men and also for women, heart attacks. You use a lot of trend, more chance of getting a heart attack. Your kidneys, these are important organs in the body and it can affect the kidneys in a negative way. So if you are gonna risk your health by taking it, do be aware that it can harm the kidneys and make sure you're getting your blood work, you know, getting things checked out with your doctor to make sure that the risks are at a minimum. I've had debates with people. Well, I take this and that, I'm healthy because my blood work says so. Well, it can say so, but doesn't mean that it's not having any negative side effects on the inside. Blood work is great and it does help you, but it's not the be, end, be all, end all, holy grail of saying you're healthy, okay? For example, you could be in a normal health level and be normal for your age and normal for everything, but maybe if you didn't use that item, you would be even better. You would be at the high norm. You'd be at like the elite top of the world level. So rather than being like awesome and living to 95, you only live to 85. It's still longer than most people, but it's 10 years less long than you could have. So although it looks like you're normal, it's less optimal than your body could have been. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. One other thing I hated about it when I was taking it, anxiety, it makes you feel like garbage. You just feel like you wanna end the cycle and be done with it. It just makes you feel like stressed out and like ugh, all the time. It's hard to explain, okay? You're very anxious, you don't feel good, and you just, you're not happy about it. It's the opposite of the feelings that you'd want. Another thing, insomnia, trendsomnia. I hated it. I have enough sleep problems as is without adding on transomnia, okay? Narcolepsy on top of that, not sleeping well, falling asleep at any, and then you can't sleep at night when you want to, and you're up all night, it sucks. The heat of it, I don't care if I have to sweat more and bed sheets or what, it didn't bother me, but it's certainly not good, okay? But not sleeping sucks. I would say one in three people who hire me have a sleep problem. Like I could call it insomnia or just not able to get a good night's sleep. It's probably one of the most underrated things you can do in this world. Underrated. We all will take the fat burner to lose fat and this and that, but nobody thinks about, well, what am I gonna take to make sure I'm sleeping well? It's such an important factor in muscle growth, repair, and just making you feel good, okay? So get your sleep, and if you're not, go see a doctor. Get that sleep issue fixed up. Another thing is sex drive. For me, it always went up with it, but it would go down after a while. It doesn't last forever. And certainly all good things come to an end. And if you're taking it and then you have to stop, well, that sex drive that was once increased can be the opposite and be dead. Another thing people are always worried about is hair. People are upset. People are obsessed with losing their hair. I never had issues with trend and hair loss. Lots of people do. For me, it grew more hair. I got hairy beasts, like shave my back. I never had this problem. Now I have to shave my back, get my girlfriend to shave my back every week. Never had hair problem. When I was 30 years old, there was no shaving my hair on my back. I, but all of a sudden, trend went in and man, the hair grew. So that's the opposite problem that I had, but it sucks. It's not a, a pleasant thing to have to shave more often than you did. Another thing is it can cause anger issues in many people, not in me. You guys will write comments, oh, you're on the trend. I'm not on trend. It's not doing any effect on my attitude. It's just how many stupid comments and idiots I have to deal with on a daily basis. That's what pisses me off. Not that I'm on trend because I'm not. I'm on HRT, 140 MGs a week test. That's what I'm on. You don't have to believe it. Just because I'm more jacked than 99% of you doesn't mean I'm on more gear than 99% of you. 50% of the people that take anabolics don't even look like they work out. They're fat, overweight pieces of poop. I'm not judging them for being overweight and out of shape. 
I just call it like it is. And you all think that if you look at the big dudes in the gym, they're the ones that are on the trend. Half the time, it's the people that don't even look like they work out. They just want to look like they work out. That's where they're taking it. All the time, half my clients who are on anabolics don't even look like they work out. Believe it or not, it's not the end-all, be-all, end-all, secret, holy grail of muscle growth. You still need genetics and you still need hard work. You can't just take this stuff and magically become awesome. Unfortunately, you can. If you could, it would be great, but you can't. And it has to be legal, prescribe by your doctor, and never break the law, and then it would be great. And have no side effects, and be awesome, and have everything awesome, and be cheap, and readily available, and prescribe by your then it would be awesome. And if you could afford to buy the food that went with it, a gym membership, and the whole, and it would be awesome. It would. It really would, but it's not, and it never will be. All right, another main problem for other people, not for me, test suppression. That means it's not producing your own test. And now why not for me? Because I'm on HRT, it wouldn't matter. I'm in injecting my own test, okay? So if you're on test, you don't need to worry about it. If you are doing trend and you stop, it's going to suppress your own body's natural production of test. What that means is when you stop, your body it's on vacation. The nuts are smaller. They're shrunk. They're not producing tests. What do you think happens to your gains? They go way down. Everything goes way down. You have the energy of a 95 year old and you suck and you lose everything. What do you think that makes people do? It makes them go back on. So you start using trend and you think, oh, I'll just do the one cycle and I'll put on the 20 pounds of muscle and then I'll look at and I'll stop. No, you're going to be addicted and use it forever because you're not going to be able to handle mentally seeing yourself turn from Superman to Clark Kent or from whatever superhero that you've seen that does the amazing transformations and then go back to their former selves. These, these, these anabolics, they don't work forever. They only work while you're taking them. And if you stop, they're going to lose your gains. So that sucks. That's one of the real negatives about it. Okay, another main problem I see with this, it's so effective and so many people want to use it that it's abused. By that I mean people are using it on their first cycles ever. Often, often, idiots, teenagers even. They'll start, oh, I'm just doing some tests and then it's like a couple of weeks later and they're on trend. Or they start with trend and they want you, I just want trend. Why? Well. It doesn't hold a lot of water retention, okay? So it's gonna give you really dry, hard gains. People don't wanna look bloated and like moon faces. They want to look lean and vascular, okay? So this does that. So they're willing to take that risk and they want the strongest drug because they get there faster. They don't want patience. They don't wanna do it in a year. They want it yesterday. So that's another problem. The younger people, first timers, they're using it when if you should ever use it, if at all, it should be my more advanced users, but guess what? It's being used by everybody, everybody. Doesn't matter first time intermediate advanced and often in ridiculous doses, okay? I had once used 700 milligrams, which was crazy for a couple days. It made me want to just like not move. It was ruining me. So I lowered to 500 and even at that dose, it caused every horrible side effect you can think. And I hated it, hated it, okay? Some people are into the thousand and plus, and it's like, oh my God, why are you taking so much? But why? Because you want to win and you'll do anything to win. You don't care if it's short in July 20 years, you do anything to win. So those of you who do take, if you do take it, I caution you, examine your dose. Take the lowest freaking dose of anything you take possible to make you happy. The lowest dose that makes you happy. If that's a zero, then take zero. If you're like, no, I need a hundred, then take a hundred. If you, oh, I'll take more, it's better. Yeah, but you don't need more. When you go out to the bar and get drunk, drink the least amount of alcohol to make you happy. Maybe it's six beers. Eight make you feel better than six, but then you're more hungover and more side effects of the liver and the whole thing, gain weight. Maybe it's three beer. Whatever the minimum amount to make you happy is the amount to do. That's my advice. That's what I tell everybody. Take the least amount that'll make you happy and you can't really go wrong. I mean, you could obviously die. That's probably kind of wrong, but at least 
you're doing it as safe as possible. The less you take, the safer it is. Anything that's legal you shouldn't take, anything your doctor doesn't prescribe or whatever, shouldn't take. But even if the doctor prescribes it, well, probably the lowest dose that you're willing to take to make you happy is the dose that's gonna be safest for you. Another huge problem. Clients have been calling all, all the time and they have no sex drive following um, taking anabolics, often with Tren. Well, if you're causing suppression of your own body's natural production of testosterone and then you stop taking it, there's going to be a lag period or you may never get it back again. They're all, I'll ask, well, I don't want to do a PCT or I'll do a PCT, but not the right one. Or they do it too early or too high a dose or too low a dose. They don't know what they're doing. They're guessing, haphazardly taking it and thinking, oh, it's, I'm halfway through my PCT. I feel great. I'm going to stop the PCT. Oh my God. I had this one idiot. And he was three weeks after his cycle ended and he was like, oh, my test levels are in the normal range. I don't need the PCT. I'm like, your test hasn't even left your system. You're on long esters. Oh, I'm normal. See, it's a normal. It's not even like you're here. Three weeks later, you're here, right in the middle where you should be. I'm normal. I need a PCT. Three more weeks later, you're freaking there. You're in the middle. And they stop and they don't know why I think that they're idiots. I can't, I mean, I have to argue with people. Why would they argue? I'm already right 99% of the time. Don't argue. Okay, so if you're taking these anabolics, you're going to crash at some point. You do a PCT and it doesn't mean you're going to bounce back and be normal. Some people don't. Some people do. And half the people who are bouncing back and normal, it's because they're back on their test cycle. They only took six weeks between cycles. They don't know what it's really like to be off. Some of my friends and people I know, pros, oh yeah, man, I'm off cycle, man. This is, num this is natural now. And, oh yeah, when was your last shot? Four weeks ago. It's like your test levels are still higher than mine and you're natural four weeks and I don't even say I'm natural because I'm on HRT. So, no. So, a lot of problems with libido, sex drive, issues, mental, emotional. Acne, people get like crazy on this. That's not fun. For me, it's not a big deal. I'm blessed with just not getting a lot of acne. So many people are worried about acne and what do you take, what do you do? I mean, you have to see your dermatologist. I am not a dermatologist. But I do know that genetics is a huge factor in this. All right, so sum it up. I'm not taking Tren anymore. I don't need it. I, there's other things I could take that are not as strong, but safer. Talk to your doctor. You don't need Tren. Take something else. Some of you are still going to use Tren, obviously, but that's your own prerogative. It's just like alcohol, cigarettes. People are going to still take it. Do it, even though you don't really have to. But, you know... Everyone wants to be the best they can do. Society has certain demands. If you're in pro bodybuilding and you think you're going to win without it, chances are very slim. If you're a normal guy, do you need it? No. Normal guy doesn't need it. You can take other things to get, you know, a similar physique. Maybe you need higher doses of safer amounts. But just try to have realistic goals. Try not to look like your favorite movie star that was ripped for their special role where they said they just ate chicken and broccoli and rice and trained four hours a day, natural. Because they probably didn't do that. They might have eaten that way, but they might have also taken a bunch of anabolics. All right, subscribe, click the bell button, do it. I have so many other of these videos and I don't do many of them because YouTube doesn't like them because you're talking about something that's illegal in most countries. So they don't like you posting them. And I prefer my channel not being close. So I don't want to talk too much about these types of things. Sometimes I do try to say it in a way that's not too controversial and that'll get me blocked or banned or whatever. Anyway. Watch another video right here. Check out one of these over there. Chose cho your choice of either of those. GregDuset.com for coaching. I can coach you all over the place. Don't matter what country you're in. Greg Doucette, IP Pro. You check me out on Instagram because a lot of stuff goes on there. Until next time, I am out.